The lesson today is titled, And All Were Martyred for Their Faith. In this gospel is a theme of preparation which continues, but picks up the theme of justice from yesterday. From the point at which Christ names the twelve, through the charging of them which occurs today, to the provision of the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ is preparing the twelve for what is to come, both with his resurrection and their persecution. In each instance, Christ gives them words of warning, words of strengthening, and words of blessing. Implied in all of this, each will remain honest and forthright in his ministry. Of this group, eleven do. One is a total waste as a minister, failing to ever leave Jerusalem to minister to any community, but rather staying within the capital, secreted away until it is time to join the Rabuni, Aramaic for teacher, just prior to Passover, at which time Judas the Iscariot handed Jesus over to be crucified and martyred. The eleven true apostles are tremendous ministers of the world, word, plus the one other apostle that is added after Christ's death. Prior to each being martyred, they personally bring over two million into the church, spreading the word of Christ from Israel all the way around the Mediterranean Sea, all the way up to the lower parts of what is now Europe, all the way over to what is now Spain and Portugal, through to the lower parts of what is now China, into India, into what is now called Turkey. Sorry, I have to think of what the map is now to what it was then. And throughout all of the places that were occupied at that time. This was done on foot and by sea, with no funds. From Corinth, the Corinthians, to whom Paul corresponds, to Eritrea in Africa, the Eritreans. Thessalonia, which was in northern Africa. Colossians, which was part of Iran. The Philippians, which is now part of Italy. The Ephesians, which is part of Egypt, Egypt and Northern Arabia, the desert people. The Galatians, which is part of now Turkey. And of course, the Romans. And the existing Jews who joined this new church, the Hebrews. The name in the brackets or the name which I spoke, is the book in the Bible from the letters of St. Paul to the various faithful churches he set up or helped to set up, answering their questions, supporting them, telling them what was what, what was happening with him. He was imprisoned, saved by an angel, recalled to Rome, transferred to Jerusalem, martyred and martyred in the name of Christ. Others went to Africa, India, what is now Europe, and all throughout the known world. They divvied it up, each taking his section and going there to die. All were martyred, killed for their faith. 
all were beatified and made holy, became saints. For these eleven, plus the parents of Jesus and the parents of Mary, gave the most for the faith of Christianity. And for our Lord and his blessed mother, they sacrificed everything in service to God, in service to love, and in service to the hope God gave them for his son among them. And for a prophet, it was priceless. They knew this prophet among them was a god.